What's going on guys, welcome back. In this video we'll be talking about the one side of the limit. This is a follow up to the one side of the limit video that I made previously and also the introduction to limits video that I made previously as well where we're going to talk about the notation and also the limit more in depth. So let's just hop right into it today. So before we talk about the general curve, let's zoom in a little bit and we're going to talk about the notation. Okay, so the notation for limits, okay. so. Alright, so we know the limit, at, so a limit has to approach a number. We're looking at the y value as as we get closer and closer to an x value. Alright, so if we see this here, the limit as x approach, the limit of a function as x approaches a number, in this case it'll be zero for, for our example here, but, um, and you don't see a plus or minus sign, it means the two side of limits, meaning, okay, well, uh, the values, uh, so, uh, so, so the left and right values of the limit that we're approaching are equal to are equal to a value. Then we have our uh, limit from right. It it means the value is greater than a, and the limit from uh, and it means the limit from x, the limit as x approaches zero, uh, denoted by a plus sign, uh, the function is equal to one. So this means from the right. And uh, same thing with the left. This means the left. And why is it the left? Well, it's denoted by a minus sign. And it means we're looking at values less than a. So limit as x approaches 0 from the left of f of x is equal to a value. So going to our example here, we said, okay, well, uh, in the last video, we had a, a piecewise function where, where, where there's two pieces to the function at 0. And we said the limit from left... All right. Start starting from starting from the limit from right. We're looking at values to the right of zero. So in this case, it'll be in this section here. And we said, okay, it is the the function is getting closer and closer and closer and closer to this value here. And we said, let it be one. And so it's getting closer and closer to one. And then we looked at the limit from left. So the limit from so the value of the limit here is one. So then we then we want to look, then we want to look at it from the left, and we said, okay, uh, the limit from left is equal to values that are uh, the limit from left is equal to, is values less than a or less than the number that that we're approaching. So it'll be on this negative side of the of the x-axis, and as we're getting closer and closer and closer and closer to zero, it's it looks like it's approaching zero, the y value, and we said that limits don't have to be at a particular point or we don't care what happens at the point, we just care about what's near it, so we could have a hole in the graph and we could still say the limit is zero. Okay, and, and because the two limits do not equal, the limit, the, the, the two set limit, the, the limit from, uh, the, the limit as x approaches zero of f of x is, is not existent, it does not exist. All right, so let's note that for a two set of limit to exist, so the limit as x approaches zero, or of a value of f of x for it to exist and the limit from left and the limit from right have to equal okay let's do another example with a familiar function from pre-calculus f of x is equal to the absolute value of x oops i forgot my equal sign sorry about that guys okay let me know it's a piecewise function where uh that where it's x for if for values greater than or equal to zero, but it's also x for values less than or equal to zero. Sorry about that, guys, for the shakiness. And so it looks like this v, and we want to find what happens to the limit as x approaches zero. What is it equal? Okay, so looking at the value, looking at looking at the limit from right, or li limit from left. Sorry. All right, so we're gonna look at the values less than or less than and, or equal to zero. So at this point here, okay, so on this side here. And if we take our our pen and and just trace the function as we're getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to zero, it looks like it's getting closer to zero. So limit from left is equal to zero. Alright. Now if we take a look at the limit from right of a function, alright. Same case. Alright, we're gonna look at this side here. And it looks like it's saying, okay, um we're we're getting closer and 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 closer to zero. So so the limit from left we said okay it's going to be the it's going to be it's going to be this negative x line and it's going to be this positive x line for the limit from right, and they both approach zero as we're getting close to zero. 
So the limit from the left and the limit from right are equal. So the limit, this three dots means therefore the limit from left and the limit from right are equal. So the limit from x as x bar to zero of f of x is equal to zero. All right, so let's just do one more function. And this one is going to be familiar to some, but not familiar to a lot of you guys. Let's zoom in a little bit. This is what we call the greatest integer function or also the floor function. All right, so the f of x is equal to the floor function. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to do that. All right. And so what, what goes on here is, it, so pretty much it, it's a step ladder. So we take all the values from negative 2, and we don't care about the decimal points at all. It, it's just going to stay consistent at this y value. So at negative 2, it's going to stay at negative 2. Then it holds here and jumps at, at minus 1. All right, until we get to negative 1, we put a hole there. And, to, and then we fill it in at negative 1. And it goes all the way to 0. Hole. Jump. And we go on forever. Okay, as long as there's an integer. Alright, and so pretty much, we want to find the limit of this function. Alright? And we got guess the li this limit for, th th this limit d doesn't exist, but how are we going to prove it? Okay? So, so the limit as x bar to 0 of this floor function. Alright, from the left. Alright, so looking at, for, looking at it from the left. Alright? Uh, 0 is right here. And so... At this point, at points close close to zero from the left, all right, it looks like it's approaching minus one. So we say the limit is equal to minus one, and we say the limit from left, uh, the limit from right, it's getting, it looks like it's getting closer to zero. Okay, uh, so it's getting closer and closer and closer to points to zero, and we say the function doesn't exist. All right, so therefore, a two-sided limit does not exist. Or it looks it, it yes sorry about that guys let me get that right so so the limit is zero here and because these values do are not equal it does not exist so another note all right to solve these problems all right all right if you're given a graph so if you're given a graph all right uh, sketch graph if needed. And then trace. At approaching values. Alright, so going back to our previous example. To, sorry about that. Uh, if, if, so pretty much what, what I'm doing here is I'm splitting the limit, the, the two set of limit. So if we're asked to find the limit, the limit as x, uh, the, the limit as x approaches to 0 from the, from, for, uh, of the two set of limits. I split it to uh, I split it into both its parts from the left and the, from the right, and then I trace the function. What's going to happen? So, uh, you want to trace the function at its approaching values from both left and right. Okay. Uh, limit from left equal to limit from right. Then the limit. Then a two-sided limit exists. Alright, with that being said, guys, we're going to talk about limit laws next. We'll see you then. Later.